to stop and, and talk or just uh, and talk? If you're on your way somewhere, we don't have to stop, but if you'd like to, you can. Sure. Uh, so, uh, well, I'm sorry, you didn't have guys have the nameplates out, so I didn't know who you were. But. I'm Representative Randy Cushing. All right, uh, so earlier today, uh, I wasn't recording at the time, but you had mentioned there was a case here in New Hampshire where a guard at one of the female halfway houses was... Yeah, the Shea Farm. Uh, was it, and you said there was some implication that the perpetrator in that instance stated that he targeted these people based on mm -hmm. them having been charged with prostitution? The, perpetra the perpetrator, the guy that was convicted, I think his name was, I can't remember his name, but he was finally, he was convicted of like 10 counts of um, sexual assault against inmates there. Um, no, the discussions that I had with people who were in the, uh, um, you know, victim certain, it, it seemed to them that the people that he targeted, the you know, convicts that he targeted for to sexually assault had also had been charged with prostitution. And, so and I don't know that, I don't have any hard data, this is just kind of anecdotal stuff that was sent along. Okay, and um, in New Hampshire, like currently, it's a, I believe a felony for prostitution. Like, it's a misdemeanor for prostitution. It's a felony for trafficking. Okay, and uh, so it's a misdemeanor if you are the prostitute, if you're the John, or if you're the pimp. Mm -hmm. um, there seemed to be a lot of confusion as to what to call different people in different instances, how they wanted to be identified, either as victims or as people engaging in a consensual activity. Um, do you feel that the New Hampshire law uh, is is correct as it is, or do you think it should be changed to kind of change the, the metrics by which people are considered criminals or victims, et cetera? I mean, the law is what it is right now. It just says a person who, you know, arranges for sex to be sold, who engages, either purchases sex or sells sex, it's all considered prostitution. And there was a, one of the representatives referenced that the Department of Labor would probably take issue with people being called sex workers. Do you, uh, do you think that it, it changes the dynamic if people are trading things that are not money? Do you think that it should still, it, the law would still treat that as crime if, let's say, people are using alternative currencies? I haven't even thought about alternative currencies. I haven't thought about any of that. I mean, I just think it's a, you know, it's a, Somebody, it's, there's, I guess I'm not that much in the contract law, but I guess is an offer of value and acceptance that underlies it. Okay, and uh, kind of an off-topic issue, but as a state representative here in New Hampshire, is there anything that the federal government is doing right now that you take issue with and believe that the state should be taking steps to counter? In the context of what? Um, well, for example, uh, whether it's something overseas like the military is doing, or here in New Hampshire, the, the federal government is uh, began doing like border enforcement checkpoints on the interstate. I'm, I'm not wild about a lot of federal, federal intrusion to the state. I mean, I use a perfect example. I don't think that the federal laws concerning cannabis should uh, override New Hampshire's state law. Um, do you think that uh, it, I was going to say, like, okay, yeah, I'll let you go. Have a good day.